the sixth or seventh of this game, and it's huge. And uh, I'm very excited to be playing a big role in it. And uh, so I'll, I, I went and auditioned a couple of weeks ago, and I read for like six or seven different characters. So between you and I, I don't even know which one I got cast as. Can you tell I'm a girl? Oh, girl. No, I, oh. What? A girl. No, it's definitely not a girl. I did not read for any female roles, I'm sure of that. Yes, sir. Hello, Vic McDurbadur. No, Vic McKing and Dingham. No, no. no, it's Yuri Lowenthal. <laughs> Goes by name of Kalen Denton. Uh, he has this inside joke where he claims to run the Vic Mignogna Help Hotline. What? Help Hotline? The Vic Mignogna Help Hotline. It's his. It's his version of a suicide hotline, except there is no hope for you. <laughs> <laughs> it's basically the opposite of a suicide hotline, where you have, where you call him up and have, he'll tell you how to kill yourself. Okay. So. Oh. 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 Wait, that's kind of. Just, uh, is this somehow disdainful of us, of the fans? I have no idea. Does that sound disdainful? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I don't like it. Here's my question. Would you like to talk to the operator of the Vic Mignogna Help Hotline? What do you guys think? Yeah, get him on the phone. All right. No speaker. Wow. Speaker. Speaker. I can't guarantee he'll pick up. What's his name? His name's Kalen. Let me let me just see if he. No, let me let me just. If he answers, I'll talk. I'll leave a message. Yeah, Kalen. Kalen. What recording you want to do? Back to ten. Things are things. Kaylin. I understand you started some sort of hotline. I don't like it. <laughs> it's actually a good thing you didn't answer. Because I would come through this phone and rip out your throat. <laughs> Okay, who has a really good question? <laughs> How'd you get your part as Reese? Because I didn't get any other part. Oh, you guys, I was, uh, you know what? Uh, listen, let me just say this real quick, you guys. I love Todd Havercorn. I love Todd. Todd and I are very good friends. He's a great voice actor, he's a great friend. So I don't say this to, to say anything about him being cast as Italy. I wanted to play Italy so bad. Oh, really? You know who plays Italy? The guy that played Five in Tsubasa. It's the same voice actor. And I'm Italian! And I was like, oh my gosh, I was meant to play this role! <laughs> but, um, but you know what? I, I took my shot, just like everybody else did. And uh, I read for America, and I read for... Uh, for uh, Italy and I read for France. But you know what? Hey, the people that got cast are awesome. And I'll be honest with you, I'm just glad to be a part of it. Um, and you know what? I really like Greece. Kind of that that accent kind of sounds Italian if you listen to it. It has it, ha it, it, it has a similar to Italian. It doesn't have the same lilt uh, that Italians speak with. But uh, but I, I really like Greece. And like I said, more than anything, I'm just happy to be a part of it. Everybody that got cast, Patrick and 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 um, Eric Vale is America and uh, and Todd, they're all doing a great job. I'm just very happy to be a part of the gang. So that's the way it worked with Greek. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't answer it. Don't answer. That was me. Um, <laughs> Can you tell us the donut story? No, you yes. guys don't oh. want to hear that. Yeah. Okay, let me ask you a question. What's the difference between hearing it 600 times on YouTube and hearing it once here? Live! 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 Let's start with that. How many of you have no idea what the donut story is? You're a liar! <laughs> it's a good thing.
thing I recorded that Bible thing because you guys, all you liars, you mean well. I don't want to go 48 no, I'm just seconds. Let me, let me, I'll, tell you the, I'll tell you the donut story. Um, uh, I'm recording. When we were recording an episode of Full Metal, it was actually the one with the uh, other brothers, Elric. Oh. Remember the fake brothers that were yeah. pretending to be Ed yeah. Now? And Ed Now, find them, and, they, and uh, Russell yeah. and Ed get in a fight, and Russell punches Ed in the face. Boom. And the next thing you know, Ed's got this puffy cheek. And I was like, oh, how cute. <laughs> Look at your little puffy cheek. <laughs> but then I thought, you know what? That would probably change the way the, the words come out of his mouth. Can we close that? Close that door. You know, it would probably, it would probably change the sound of the, vo of the, of the words. Uh, and so I decided that maybe it would be great if I put something in my mouth to help change the sound. So I asked Colleen Klinkenbeard if I could run to the vending machine room real quick. And so I went in there and I was looking for just the right thing to stuff in my mouth. You know, like Doritos, that's not gonna work. You know, a Snickers bar, no, no, no. Licorice, yummy, but no. <laughs> so uh, then I found, I found the perfect thing, the little powdered sugar donut. <laughs> Look, they're the perfect size to go in the cheek and they're soft and puffy. So that I thought they would be perfect, right? So I bought a, a, a little, uh, one of the little uh, things of six and packages of six and I ran back into the booth and I was all excited and I threw one in my mouth, put it in my cheek. I looked like I was chewing tobacco or something. <laughs> and uh, so we recorded the first line that Ed says with this with his puffy cheek. And, um, and after we record a line, you guys, the actor kind of just kind of sits tight for a while while the engineer moves the line around and makes sure that it fits in the flaps and the director listens to it and kind of makes sure they like it. Well, while they're doing all that, the, the, the actor's doing this. <laughs> and this donut is falling apart in my mouth. Because it's not, you know, it's puffy and light and it's supposed to be digested. <laughs> so it starts getting really gross. And the worst thing is that I didn't look far enough ahead to know how long Ed was going to have this puffy cheek. I just saw it one time and I didn't really think much about it. Well, then I found out that he, like, has a long conversation with this, oh, with this, uh, this, this uh, swollen cheek. So, um, so finally, this this donut in my mouth got so gross. I didn't want to eat it. I needed it. I needed it here for the puffiness. So it got so gross, and I just ended up spitting it out, and uh, and then putting another one in, <laughs> brand new, and starting all over, and just hoping that the six that I bought would be enough to get me through the scene. With Ed, but that's that's the donut story. And now everywhere I go all over the country, fans think it's just adorable to bring me donuts. <laughs> <laughs> what you adorable. don't know is that donuts uh, <laughs> donuts make me cringe now. But you like the dark chocolate Milky Ways. Oh yes. Yes, we do love the Milky Ways. No. Is it Jonathan? Yeah. Hey Jonathan. <coughs> you and your final fantasy text yesterday. messages. What? I'm sorry. It's in my room, resting right now. I actually, I, I, I had my hands full when I left, but <laughs> believe me, <coughs> that thing's gonna get plenty of views. <laughs> For those of you that weren't here yesterday, somebody made me, is she here? Right here. This sweet girl made me a plushie. I guess it's me. Yes. It's supposed to be me. It's much better looking than I am, but it's supposed to be me, and when you push his his chest, he says the Colonel Mustang. Ah. <laughs> so I don't have to. That's the best part. <laughs> Question. Oh, yes. Can I deliver an important message to you? Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Never gonna give you up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Never gonna make you cry. Never gonna say goodbye. Never gonna tell a lie. I love Rick Astley. Well, I love that song because I was in college when that song came out. Uh -oh. Don't do the calculations. Yes. Um, I've been wanting to become a voice actor since I was probably about 